Hi everyone, I'm going to show you the closest we can get to playing a proper game of wizard chess, and the earliest possible way we can begin this exclusive quest that contains the minigame. Completing this quest also has other benefits for us that I'll explain later in the video. So firstly, this quest is called Minding Your Own Business, and is the PlayStation exclusive quest in Hogwarts Legacy. Unfortunately, we don't have a release date for the other platforms at this stage, but they should be getting access to it eventually. The earliest the quest became available for me was after the second trial and after completion of a quest called Gobbledygook, where you and another student meet Lodgok. Another indicator that you're getting close is when you notice the season changing to winter with snowfall around. After this, you should see the quest marker appear in the southeastern area of Hogsmeade. As you approach the marker, you'll see a house elf sweeping the street in front of a shop. I'm not going to spoil the quest for you because I actually found it to be the most found quest in the game. As you probably already guessed from the name of the quest, it has a very spooky and horror theme to it. With mannequins that move around every time you look away, and rooms that change around to disorientate you, I've never had to use Lumos so much before. For anyone who enjoys horror movies, you'll really like this quest. If you've already completed it, or once you do, let me know in the comments if this quest was your favourite or you have another favourite in mind. As mentioned at the start, this quest allows us to get involved in the closest thing to wizard chess. Unfortunately, it is a big missed opportunity and we don't play a proper game as a poltergeist only moves a few pieces on the board around. We have to try and cross this chess board, however, the chess pieces cover the squares on the board that they would be able to reach in one turn of chess. So we must avoid stepping on the squares within their range, otherwise the tiles below us break and we fall and we have to start again. All in all, it's still my favourite quest and it actually provides you with very helpful rewards. You receive some exclusive clothing, but the most beneficial is the 10% increase in sale rate when you sell your unwanted gear at your new shop. 10% might not sound like much, but if you have completed Merlin trials to increase your gear slots and have around 30 pieces of gear to sell at a time, you will receive thousands of extra galleons. I usually sell everything and by the time I complete a quest, my inventory is full and I repeat the process. I currently have well over 30,000 galleons. This will obviously help you afford all those expensive recipes, brooms, broom upgrades and much more. So getting this shop available as early as possible will have a big benefit throughout the game for you. Seeing as most of the wizard chess assets are already in the game, do you think we will get wizard chess added as a DLC in the future? I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be releasing other videos soon covering the most powerful spell combos with the best upgraded gear traits you should use. I also will do a quick video showing the easiest way to find those pesky demoguise statues. So if you enjoyed this video and are interested for what's to come, please subscribe so you don't miss any of it.